In this lesson, we're going to be talking about war dialing. War dialing is the idea of taking a whole block of telephone numbers and just dialing against them to see if there's a modem there. Now, you might think that modems are just really old school and nobody uses them anymore. The reality is that lots of enterprises and service providers even still use modems for out-of-band communication with their networking infrastructure. So if there's a critical error that causes networking to fail to those particular systems, at least they have a way to continue to communicate with them, even though it would be slow and you would also have to have a modem on your system in order to communicate with them. And as you may know, modern systems often don't have modems installed anymore, and modems can sometimes just be difficult to get particularly with the type of interfaces that we've got on modern systems. However, there is still use in doing war dialing. There have been a number of war dialers that have been available over the years. Most of them haven't been updated in a long time, and it can be difficult to get your hands on them. And particularly, it can be difficult to find a system that will actually run these older programs. For example, I am running Windows 7 as a virtual machine here, and I tried to download THC Scan, which you'll see here, and it won't actually run under the version of Windows 7 that I have. I get an error. But you can see there's a list here of the different war dialers that may be available. The first one is the classic DOS-based war dialing utility, and it's DOS-based. It can be challenging to get up and running, but it's kind of the gold standard in war dialing utilities. It's called ToneLoke. It may be difficult to get your hands on. You may have to do a little bit of digging to go find the program, and again, also find a system that may be able to run it. We've also got THC scan and phone tag, which isn't quite as good as tone loc and phone sweep. These generally run under Windows or tone loc again runs under DOS. It's difficult to find scanners, war dialers that run under Linux. Although if you've got a modem, you may be able to script that sort of communication and get a modem to just do the dialing for you if you know a little bit about modems and how to do dialing through them and how to interface. This is where THC scan is available. Again, it came out in 1995 and it's at 2.0. It claims to run on all of these systems, but it hasn't been updated in a really long time. If you wanted to take a look at a movie on how to use THC scan, you can certainly take a look at that through this website. Critical infrastructure across the internet is often attached to modems, and you may be able to get into routers or switches or even PBXs and be able to get in there and take a look at configurations and see what's available. Sometimes you can get in without passwords or sometimes the passwords are really easy to get. And again, that critical infrastructure is out there and it is attached to modems. So having the ability to do dialing is something that you may want to have in your tool chest.